Why? Why does your ukulele sound bad? Okay, I hope everyone is keeping well. Um, in school at the minute, it is absolutely crazy. Um, I can't get to see my ukulele players in person very often. And when I do it, sort of very, very quick, a few seconds, grabbed conversation. Um, but I have had a few of them asking me, a few of them have started actually from home. And they're asking me why they can't get their ukuleles to sound nice. Okay, now normally if I was in school, I would just grab a ukulele and go through it with them. I can't do that at the minute, hence why I'm making a quick video. So, um, if your ukulele isn't sounding as nice as it should be, generally there's only three things it can be. Either what your right hand is doing, your left hand is doing, or the actual ukulele itself. So, think logically, all right? It is unlikely to be the actual ukulele, all right? It, it could be, but that should be the very last thing to look at. It could be your strums, um, especially if you're a new beginner, um, maybe you're strumming too hard, okay? Or you're catching your nail, or you, you're strumming with your first finger, the back of the nail, but it's a bit clacky, okay? All of those things will come with practice. The more you strum, okay, the nicer it'll sound and the easier it'll feel. More often than not though, when you're getting not nice sound, it's actually the fault of your left hand, I'm afraid. And 90% of the time, it's you're not pressing your fingers down hard enough. Now, you may have noticed at the very beginning of the video, I purposely chose chords where I was putting lots of fingers down. So if we look at our G chord, all right, I'll come in a bit closer. I've got to press the three strings down at the same time. I'm pressing them at the minute. If I take my fingers away, you will see some lovely indentations at the top of my fingers. That is showing just how hard I'm pressing the string down. All right, now in one of my lessons, it might even be the very first beginner lesson, I do explain when you're making a chord to pluck the strings individually. All right, and that way you're gonna be able to tell if every note is sounding correctly. So for example, I'm going to just release my middle finger a little bit. See, it's not sounding properly. Now that will have a massive effect on the whole chord. Exactly the same if I press my middle finger back down, but release my first finger a little bit. See what I mean? If I don't press down quite hard enough, you get that horrible, Okay, if I press it down properly, I get a nice clean note. Okay, that's the chord pressed down properly. That's the chord not pressed down properly. Now, go back into your playing and start to speed things up. Not nice. sounds quite nice it's because three of the strings are open it was just a C chord hear it though okay but as soon as you start putting lots of fingers down if you're not pressing your left hand fingers hard enough that's when you start to get the nasty sounds so how can you improve your left hand technique if that's what's causing the issue and it probably is um, getting right onto your fingertips, all right? A nice okay sign, all right? So your thumb is in the back, the middle of the neck, all right? You're not bringing your thumb around there because that doesn't make it easy to get onto your fingertips. Keep your wrist nice and relaxed. And then if I come in a bit closer, you can see there, all right, I'm right on the actual fingertips. My fingers are not flat. If they're flat, they bend the wrong way and that just sounds awful, okay? 
right onto your fingertips. If you want to just practice one finger at a time, literally just go on, off, on, off. And when you're practicing your chord changes, practice them on your fingertips. Yeah, I did say it was going to be short, so hopefully this has helped. Look at the basics always. If something isn't working, take it apart, see which bit of it is causing the issue. All right. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, things are crazy in school at the minute. So hence the lack of content from me. Hopefully there'll be more things to come very soon. As always, if you've got a comment or a question, please feel free to leave it below. Give us a like if you've enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.